Hello everyone, my name is Roya and this is part two of my really weird book haul of books that were actually already mine but they were in storage somewhere else in a state I didn't live in um, but I recently got them back and this is the gigantic pile that was part one of this video seeping into the camera here. I couldn't really do anything about it. They're taking up my whole room. Um, but this is part two. So for part two, we're going to start with some books that I have not read, but I for some reason had them in storage. I don't know. So this is Sea Biscuit. I have not read Sea Biscuit. I've seen the movie. I should probably read the book. Facts behind the Helsinki Rocamadios. I tried reading The Life of Pi by the same author. I actually tried reading it like twice and couldn't even get all the whole way through the first chapter even. So I, I got this one hoping I could give this one a try, but I never even picked it up. So yeah. The Watchers, which actually is the only one in this haul that was not mine already. I On this same trip, I got this from my mom. She said her friend had like had had it and just wanted to give it away so he gave it to her in the hopes that she would give it to me because they all know that I like books. So um, this is The Watchers. I have no idea what it's about so yay. Midnight's Children which I actually tried to read when I was in college and I couldn't even get past the first chapter and I don't know why I was probably just reading too much stuff for school and just didn't want to like read this but I have no idea. So then we have Different Seasons by Stephen King. I believe that this is four different novellas and or short stories, um, so that should be pretty interesting. I read Skeleton Crew by Stephen King at one point, and that was so full of way too many different short stories. So the fact that this one just has like four um, probably makes it a little bit easier to get into. Neo Pagan Writes. I'm very happy to have this back because, I mean, most of my... Um, pagan books actually got lost during an earlier move um, than the one that put all these books in storage. Um, but this one I guess didn't, so I'm definitely glad I have one. <laughs> so now I have a bunch of books from my childhood, not all of which I actually remember. Most of them I remember reading, but I don't necessarily remember every single thing about all of them because, I mean, these were like things that my dad was reading to me before I even like knew how to read but so first we have Blackbeard's Cat um this seems to be a large print type thing so um this is a pretty quick read I guess I can read this towards the end of the year when I if I haven't gotten to 120 books yet Tales Along the King's Highway of South Carolina um this is a good one because this is um I mean South Carolina is like where my dad is from and where I've been a bazillion bazillion times um and so I guess this is like a kind of a, a large print type book for kids and everybody um, and it just has some stories that are unique to South Carolina. Sea Star, which I believe is like a spin-off of Misty of Chincoteague. I don't know if you know Misty of Chincoteague but if you grew up when I grew up which is a which was a long time ago so then you so you might remember Misty of Chincoteague. If you don't, Misty of Chincoteague was a horse and I don't know if she was a real horse or just fictional. I think she's just fictional. And like two kids named, I think, Paul and Maureen or something ended up raising her. While No One Was Watching, I do not remember this book at all from the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frank Weiler, which I remember loving as a little kid and I don't really remember that much about it now. Then I have volumes one, two, three, and five of the Boxcar Children. Um, and this is a kids series that my dad and my sister and I used to read together like before we could read. I mean obviously my dad could read but like my sister and I couldn't read. And um, this is something that I think it would be fun to revisit. I also feel the need to hang on to them for like sentimental purposes and I mean even though I don't plan on having kids at any point um, I may have like nieces or nephews or like my cousins might have kids. Like, either way, there will probably be kids eventually that I will want to, like, pass this along to. Then we have On the Right Track, which I have no idea what it's about at all. I don't remember this book, but I'm sure I read it as a little kid at some point. Anyways, stories from Wayside School. I remember this. The Andalite Chronicles, of course. Like, I think even now I could probably relate to this. I mean, I I loved this as a kid. It was like so profound back then to me, and I'm sure I would love to read it again now. Golden Grove, 
Um, I remember I really liked this as a kid and I don't remember it anymore, but so maybe I should just read it again. <laughs> Then we have four Roald Dahl books. We've got James and the Giant Peach, The BFG, The Wonderful World of Henry Sugar, and Matilda. Now I can't believe there's a whole nother pile of kids books here, but it's a little bit of a shorter pile, so let's see here. Um, we have The Gypsy Game by Zilpha Keatley Snyder, and I have The Egypt Game, and I remember reading The Egypt Game like 10 times, but The Gypsy Game I don't remember ever reading. So I think it might be interesting to read like both of them together or something like that. I don't know if they have the same characters or if they're completely disconnected, but we'll see. Then we have another Roald Dahl book. This is um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, a play. Is it indeed a play? Yes, it is. Goodness, it's the play. I have not read a play in forever, although I've seen this play, so I don't really want to read it because I already know every single thing about it and I've seen the movie and all of that. I have four books in the Anastasia Krupnik series. I believe this is the one that got banned at some point because of just Anastasia making light of killing herself and then there was some other um, reference to something in there that parents didn't really like. I loved the crap out of these books as a kid. Clearing. This was a really good book when I was a kid. I feel like I should reread it again. Um, but I actually did a book report on this too, I think. It was like fourth grade, maybe. The Nancy Drew Notebooks. I'm not sure if I'm going to hang on to this, but still, I, I remember reading this and liking it. Got a couple of Nancy Drew books too. This is pretty cool. Now we're getting into like not necessarily children's books, but maybe like middle grade-ish. This is Mustang, Wild Spirit of the West, and it is a true story, I think. Um, yeah, it is. It's it's the true story of Wild Horse Annie. Um, and she's like this kid who had polio and then grew up to be like a an advocate for saving the horses or something. Out of the Dust, which I actually don't remember reading, but I probably did. I Have Lived a Thousand Years, which I also don't remember reading, but I may have to because it's about the Holocaust and it's pretty, pretty crazy. Catwings Return, which I'm very surprised to see is the only Catwings book that I have, but this is exactly what it sounds like. It is a book about some cats with wings. And we have two books by Scott O'Dell. This is Island of the Blue Dolphins and uh, My Name is Not Angelica. And um, I remember reading both of these as a kid multiple times, actually, because I think um, uh, Island of the Blue Dolphins I read before I had to read it in school and then I had to read it in school again and then I may have read it a third time too, I'm not sure. The Best Bad Thing by Yoshiko Uchida and I'm not sure if I if I actually have read this or not because I don't remember it. Same thing with The Boy Who Made Dragonfly by... which is a Zuni myth retold by Tony Hillerman. So that's interesting. Now we're finally, we're finally getting to the end of this haul, which is insane. So here are some graphic novels. 11 Slayers graphic novels right here. This is insane. Um, can you tell I like Slayers? Cause I do. We've got a volume of Girl Genius. And one of The Sandman. Volumes one and four of Fushigi Yugi. Don't know what happened to two and three. And lastly, we have the last career guide you'll ever need. Um, and this is this was just a a fun thing, you know. This is just a fun thing to read, I think, when you're like a struggling adult. That is finally the end of my two video book haul that of books that I already were actually mine. Um, so <laughs> I'm not even sure how this is a thing how I have this many books because I really don't have the shelf space, but I guess I'll find a way to fit them all on my shelf somehow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought, um, especially the kids' books. If you remember reading those as a kid or reading them to your kids or any of that stuff, um, let me know in the comments, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!